hi guys uh, I'm back with uh, lots of updates and uh, today I'm recording from the another location because I had a vacation and I was away and I'm still away so um, just answering for the probably upcoming questions regarding NeoVim uh, I'm still think that it is a really interesting text editor and when I will be back home on my home environment I will continue to use this and uh, just for now in purpose of simplicity and efficiency I decided to go with the Visual Studio because I have it installed on my laptop so this is the question uh, the answer about NeoVim question and now I guess we can continue and all several things I will cover today. For example, finally I had audio library uh, integrated, so the engine has now possibility to play sound. Uh, the second thing, my really close friend uh, created an amazing soundtrack to my engine and the intro. For, for the engine and uh, you will soon be able to listen to this and I will leave the links for his Bandcamp uh, account link uh, in the description his name is Doda Krop and I think he's like uh, enormously talented so I hope you will also like it and uh, the other thing is that I finally managed to find time and make a Windows uh, version uh, available and uh, hopefully it is working same way as it is working on Linux and I hope you will not experience any big issues with that. Another thing is that I, um, I also found, fi found time to uh, port my projects to GitHub. So link is also in the description please follow please give me stars or whatever your comments this is for big updates and i guess we will start from the uh, engine presentation so i'm going to start an engine and i hope you will like how it was improved if my cat will not go wild
Okay, I guess I will just select another level. But I am like absolutely, absolutely insane shocked about this soundtrack. I love it from all my heart and I think like I, I wouldn't imagine anything else that fits so perfectly to this project as this sound. It is just crazy. So let's talk about things that changed. Uh, maybe visually not that much but i worked lots of a lot in code in code base improvement mostly and i tried to improve uh selection and moving of objects make it more smooth and uh like good <laughs> so wait i just and the other thing uh, that changed that I finally managed to create a shader recompilation in real time, if I can say so. So you can like do something with your shader and then update it. So I will show it later a bit. Uh, but you have you you can see in the editor global button for shader update. It, it is visible uh, from the all tabs. And as always, we can uh, select texture, uh, scene, and 3D scene. Now it takes a bit longer because each time I'm uh, changing materials or like uh, window size or stuff, I'm recompiling shaders. I will improve it e later. And we can debug bones, uh, influence for animations. Now it's also a bit buggy. I haven't improve it we can select to like we can deselect or select 3d grid rendering stuff like that and also now we can uh, play audio from the available pool of audios and uh, for example this some random uh, effect uh, sound effect I downloaded to test it and it will uh, be playing in loop now it will start again I can pause it I can uh, select again the amazing soundtrack from Doda Crop and pause it and pause it whatever yeah I guess that's all for the presentation uh, let's go and see how the shader recompilation works so I will open the modal fragment shader. Here is like something that, for example, selected is now being uh, written to the red channel. Let's make it, uh, for example, for green. Yeah? And I just saved it, updated shaders. And now you see that it is being green, lit with the green color when it is. Uh, being selected <laughs> and let's uh, make it back to the red because I like it more now it will be red yeah so this is how it works and it was really useful when I was improving the intro shader and I guess it is really useful just by the like it is basically really it is really useful in general um, the also, I guess lots of people know that I was working on my um, parser and I have a project structure this way that we have like engine with the source code folder and then in assets uh, when we, uh, we can make shaders, we can um, put models uh, which we will render textures which the models we use we have also a folder with the scenes and this is basically something that my engine is reading to understand what scene we will be displaying this is example of scene with the sprites that you saw it is really simple structure we just define the name of scenes so it is basically easier to get uh, to the ui representation than we define object uh, id is deprecated don't use it i have internal id unique uh, 
cal calculation increment incre I'm incrementing it internally and then you can define the material name with the uh, shaders that it will be using and the texture so now your my engine will understand that we are talking about just a simple rectangle that will cover it with this picture then we have more complex uh, object uh, configuration with the uh, position provided uh, and the model or model with the animation so um, this is basically a structure and for people who will want to somehow uh, add remove things you can basically use it copy paste uh, change the name of the model change the name of the texture change the name of uh, shader if you want I wouldn't do this because it's like I, I, I'm super like I'm trying to bulletproof it uh, when I find something but I think that there are so many of places that can be broken and uh, yeah so you just put the models in the models folder texture in the texture folder and engine will understand it and uh, yeah and then you will just use it with animations uh, just should be the same as for your model yeah because animation information is written there so that's it i guess and uh, feel free to try it to break it i guess that's it for today i hope you liked it and uh, again link to Doda Crop is in description, link to my GitHub is in description, and also not that long time ago I gave a new interview and uh, it's in Russian language, so if you haven't seen it and if you want to see it, uh, link will be also here somewhere and uh, down you will find the links to the guy who was uh, they, uh, taking this interview and um, it was amazing and he has also a youtube channel and he's streaming and writing his engine so please uh, take a look and uh, see you next time